always wondered why we celebrate New Year's Day. It seems like an odd holiday. We don't celebrate the passing of each day, and we don't celebrate every new month. So why is it that when a new year comes around, it causes us to stand up and take notice? For many people, because it doesn't happen all the time, I believe it's viewed as an opportunity to put the past behind us and start fresh. Never has that feeling been more real than this year at the close of 2020. If you are looking forward to hanging a new calendar, you are not alone. 2020 has been a year riddled with struggle. It's amazing to see the number of memes showing up on the internet that celebrate the arrival of 2021, but also berate 2020 as a miserable year. As if, miraculously, things will change on January 1st. There's an expression that says those who do not learn from their past are destined to repeat it. That same sentiment is found in the Bible as Moses addresses the children of Israel with his farewell speech before they head into the promised land. He says these words to them, Be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or allow them to fade from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children and to their children after them. The children of Israel experienced many difficulties and struggles and discipline from God in their 40-year journey through the wilderness. Moses wanted to make sure that they learned from those encounters. I think it's important to celebrate the opportunity for a fresh start, a new beginning. And I'm looking forward to 2021. But I don't want to turn my back on the past and forget it. I want to learn from it. And the reality is that this past year has also been a year filled with blessing and hope. I believe Moses wanted the children of Israel to remember the good things also. They saw the power and provision of God in mighty ways. They experienced his love and his care. Moses reminds them that there is value in all their experiences and that they should not lose sight of any of them. Jeremiah understood the turning of a page, the anticipation of a future that's brighter than the past. In his lament of his nation's struggle, he wrote these words, The thought of my suffering is bitter beyond words. I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. Yet I still dare to hope when I remember this, the faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I am looking forward to 2021 to see what God has in store for me, to see what He has in store for us. But I will not be celebrating the end of 2020. Rather, I will reflect on 366 days of new mercies from a faithful God. Come to think of it, we should celebrate each new day and month not just the new year. My prayer for you is that you experience God's fullness in 2021.